Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aditya and I make informative videos about Denmark. So today's video is specifically about the doctors who would like to come to Denmark for their residency or get an authorization uh, in order to practice their medicines. So today's video is for them. But not only that, uh, I'm also going to be focusing on other healthcare workers, uh, for example, dentists, um, nurses, midwives or a special physical therapist or chiropractor who would like to come to Denmark also. So any other medic medical prof uh, healthcare profession which requires you to have a license in order to practice that, you can also watch this video. This is also relevant. Uh, the steps that I'm going to be uh, mentioning are the similar steps that you have to take in order for you to uh, get the authorization here in Denmark. So this video is specifically for the people who are from non-European uh, countries. So before we get started, I would like to say that I'm making this video based on my own research because and also I have some friends who are doctors and working in Denmark. So after talking with them, I got to know a lot of stuff. And then after that, I did my own research and that's why I'm doing this video. So if you're really considering coming to Denmark, I would suggest and recommend that you contact the right authorities in order for you to get the right answers. So and for that i'm going to leave a link in the description and also their contact informations that you should please check it out in order for you to you know contact and get the right information from them so let's get started so in order for you to get the authorization in denmark i'm going to be talking about the six steps that you need to take in order for you to get that so the first step is application and approval of qualifications so uh, the Education Commission for uh, Foreign Medical Graduate uh, are the ones who have this service called EPIC where you have to go onto their website and create an EPIC account. So once you have created an EPIC account, they will be the ones who are going to be validating your credentials. So if you have a medical degree in your from your own country other than Denmark or any other European country, so and you would like to go to a foreign um, uh, country abroad to practice the medicines they are the ones always doing this uh, credential check so also people who like to go USA or UK um, they have to go through this uh, um, credential check so epic is the one who do this credential check for you they are very thorough so you know uh, people a lot of people and organization trust that and that's why also it is trusted by Danish patient safety authorization so so you have to create an EPIC account and upload all your documents electronically. So and then they will check the credentials. They they are so thorough, you know. People trust them because sometimes, if required, they will also have an interview with you or your organization where you have gotten your uh, degree. So once you have done that, you go onto the website of Danish Patient Safety Authorization and download an application form. So once you have done that and fill that form. Uh, you have to do two things like you know all these your uh, basic uh, documents for your education your degree or your diploma all that documents that you will have to put uh, to put together and uh, together with the application form that you have filled out from the Danish patient safety authorization and send them by post so I think they specifically mentioned that you have to send that by post but uh, probably uh, if there's some kind of arrangement uh, where you can actually get it attested and send it electronically. So for that, you should contact them and uh, uh, ask them how would they like to have the documents. So yeah, once you have done that, so and your um, <coughs> credentials are being checked. So during this time, once your credentials are being checked and if it is approved, then you will hear from them and then you start your process for the applying the visa for Denmark. So you probably, uh, the Danish Patient Safety Authorization will help you get the doctor's visa or you will probably get the normal residence permit in order, in order for you to come to Denmark and do all the other steps. So let's say uh, you have cleared all your credential checks and then uh, you have gotten a visa to come to Denmark. So once you come to Denmark, uh, anyone who holds the residence permit uh, are eligible to go to the language school for free. So uh, the, the language school is for free uh, to them. 
So once you come here, then you go to your nearest uh, language school and register yourself. So that is the only requirement because that's the next step that you need to pass. So you have to pass the Danish exam, Danske Pro 3, the so Danish exam 3, uh, which has three modules, reading, writing, speaking. And the requirement for that is like, you know, uh, you know in two of those modules, you have to get seven uh, points. And so in Denmark, we have the, this grading scale up to 12 points. So you have to get seven points in two of the modules and on uh, and, and the last module uh, you have to get minimum 10 points so it doesn't matter which modules that totally depends on your skills if you're really good at speaking or reading so you get probably seven in um, ten in that and seven in the other one so so but minimum is like two modules you have to have seven points and one module you have to have minimum 10 points so that is the basic requirements uh, for you to you know apply for the authorization and go forward into the process so once you come here you go to the language school and probably you will have to go full time it's you know and uh, it's much better because uh, unless you're doing something else because that's your primary focus you know you have to get the authorization so you'll probably have to do this full time so once when i came to came here i was doing it part time because i was also studying uh, so yeah so you'll probably have to do this full time and then uh, it's it's actually much easier when you do full time because you learn more and then you have more contact and uh, more practice to do that so the third uh, step is to go for a medical test uh, after you have passed the exam uh, Danish exam that is the requirement before you can go for this test so once you go for this test there is a oral and written exam if you, by any chance you, if you fail the theory test so you have the right to you know defend it orally so as long as you can explain to them and you know they are satisfied so that is one of uh, the things that you have to be you know aware of that you know if you have uh, you know failed the exam written exam you can defend it by orally so you have to probably ask the invigilator and then i don't know the process exactly what happens but you won't probably you won't fail the exam because you know you are good at it and that's why you are studying medicine so uh, this make this exam is done twice a year and um, that's why uh, you have to keep an eye on the dates and then uh, I book it in advance so but that should be okay because once you're in Denmark and apply for this test uh, booking uh, it's much much faster process because when you're applying from Denmark, so you get you know uh, first priority if you're applying from here. So once you have passed this test, once you have passed the Danish exam and the medical test, the next thing you have to do is the take course of Danish health legislation course. So this is a three-day course and happens four to five times because there's a lot of demand and a lot of people, a lot of doctors coming to Denmark. So that's why there it's happened very frequently. So also remember when you're booking uh, for this course, uh, you have to keep in mind that you have passed the Danish exam and the medical test. Yes. So also at the end, uh, and in this um, uh, course, you will have a lot of group work and there's some different kinds of module. And um, uh, at the end of this course, there will be a written test. So after completing the Danish exam, medical test and legislation course, fifth step is to, uh, for you to get uh, an internship. So that's where it gets real because that's where you're going to be getting your authorization at the end of your internship. So it's actually called uh, unsettled, uh, evaluating and unsettled, so evaluations uh, hiring. So in, if I translate that uh, from Danish. So once you have that, uh, once you have all these uh, things checked, all this process, then, then you have to apply for this uh, evaluation, evaluations uh, and settles. So. so for this, you have to apply yourself and you fi have to find the position yourself. Of course, the Danish Patient Safety Authority will help you and guide you in order to get the position in one of the hospitals in Denmark. So it's not a problem because I have some friends who have been through this and they, it, it was much easier. So this will happen and the, uh, the period of this um, uh, internship uh, will depend on if you hold the specialist position. If you have that then it will be not longer 
because then yeah they want to do this uh, you know quite fast so uh, of course you have to find the position on your own and then uh, uh, you have to apply for a special visa because the current visa that you are on in residence permit does not give you the right to practice any medicine or um, work as a doctor uh, you have to keep that in mind you know also while working uh, as an intern here on this uh, step um, you have you have no right to be uh, assessed people uh, like and uh, help uh, other patients because you are not a doctor so please uh, listen to your supervisor always and don't break any rules because you might um, uh, you know you might be your residence permit might be in trouble if you do this so so yeah at the end of this evaluation uh, you have to apply for authorization and uh, also permission to work independently if that's what you like afterwards so uh, let's say you have come to this point and then you apply and then uh, you have to apply for this and there's uh, some kind of fees that you have to pay on your own yeah and then you should be able to get your uh, authorization uh, and to practice uh, medicine in Denmark so then you can choose if you would like to work continue working in the hospitals or you would like to work uh, independently and open up your own cleaning so that all uh, depends if you get the authorization so yeah keep that in mind so it's probably most uh, probably if you are uh, like a dentist in other healthcare profession you would want to open up your own cleaning so uh, why not so yeah then you have to apply for sp uh, some other things so of course uh, for all this Danish patient safety authority is always there for you to uh, for to answer all your questions so yeah please contact them if you are in doubt in any of these steps yeah of course I forgot to mention while you're doing your internship you get paid and then the salary depends on the normal Danish uh, law you know and whatever normal salary is given by the Danish uh, government so it's not that lot it's not a lot but uh, it it should be able to you know compensate all your expenses and also accommodation you know uh, I have a friend who is a doctor and when she was doing this uh, evaluation evaluation training uh, she, uh, the hospital helped her really uh, to get the accommodation because the doctors uh, there was this hospital accommodation they were available and then she could get it easily and it was quite cheap and it was good okay so yeah of course the, the hospital will help you with that so for all that you should contact them while you get hired they pro you probably will talk about this such this stuff so in the end is the specialist uh, if you would like to become if you have just done your graduation or MBBS and then you have come here for authorization uh, then you there is a option you would like to if you would like to continue and get the specialization uh, then you can do that so for that you have to uh, apply and then pay the fees on your own like uh, and then uh, you have to contact the Danish Patient Safety Authorization, of course, again, and they will guide you to the right way because um, uh, they have not provided any information about this. So you have to actually contact them in order for you to, you know, know what's what's what lies ahead. You know what do, what steps you have to take in order for you to get the spe uh, specialization. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for listening and if you like this video please subscribe to the channel if you're not considering subscribing please leave a comment and like this video so it can help uh, reach the wider audience and help other people who would like to you know uh, know more about this and um, yeah thank you for now so if you're wondering why do i have power petrol car over there is because i don't have any good action figures to put on so i have my kids uh, i'm sitting in my kids bedroom so so that's the only thing i could find so put it on there so that's why i put it on so my wife actually just walked in and said why do we have paw patrol i have only one question she said why do you have paw patrol car there <laughs> not something else but yeah yeah that that's it <laughs> so thank you for listening guys and uh, have a good one